Hey guys, so I just thought I'd throw up another upload and just today we'll be showing you how to update your masonry and stuff. If you're using any other of my little tricks or tips or whatever they are, uh, magic ask, infinite scroll, stuff like that, then you will need to follow this tutorial. Either this or you will need to, uh, if I've included it in my other ones, just watch that and you'll see it. Uh, I'll probably be linking over to this tutorial from there just to show you guys what to do. Now I have recorded this once, and I went to record it again, because I forgot my mic, and the second time I forgot my mic as well. So this time hopefully we should have audio, and we'll just get down to it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be replacing jQuery, Masonry, and Infinite Scroll. jQuery just makes everything easier on my side, so the code's a bit smaller. So it's one line that you guys have to add, and a lot of things like uh, the little curses you can get, and the little raindrops you can get on your blog, and... Uh, just just stuff stuff you can get for your blog it usually uses jQuery instead of JavaScript and that's what jQuery is built off of masonry is this little part here where see how all these are pushed up instead of just being like massive gaps so instead of this post being here and then the next post having to be in line they actually get pushed up you'll see what I mean once we actually take the original code off before we update it and infinite scroll you guys know you just scroll down and it keeps loading posts instead of having to go to page one two three four five now, let's get on to it. So, first we're going to head over to our customize, and your theme will probably look completely different from this. The theme I'm using is theme number two by Assessings, I think that's how you say it, and it's pretty organized. There are a lot of unorganized themes, and there are a lot of themes that look nothing like this, but the general gist of it is you get blue green stuff down here for the post, you get a whole load of fancy orange and stuff at the top. And somewhere smack bang in the middle, you get a whole lot of white and green. Or it could be up the top or the bottom, whatever it is. This is what you're looking for, though. Something along the lines of text JavaScript with script tags. Um, and it will pretty much just look like this. So what we've got here is jQuery masonry, jQuery infinite scroll. And then we've got the infinite, scrolls, uh, the infinite scroll and the masonry stuff here. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go from the bottom of this block index tag all the way up to the top of the index tag. We're going to remove that. So remember it was just here where it was and we're just going to update this. And as you can see, without it, this is what happens to your post. There actually ends up being gaps, which really doesn't make your blog all that appealing. So to fix that, we're going to update it. And this link along with any other links that you need will be in the description. And we'll just paste that in. Now, this item selector uh, and the nav selectors and the query selector, uh, you can usually find easily just by looking at the code before you uh, put this in. So if I go back, you'll see here, item selector and or content or whatever. It will be the other one that isn't pagination. So let's go back to the new code and we'll update this. And as you see, post is starting to work again. Save. Head back over to my blog. And you'll see in a sec. There we go. It is now working. Now, hopefully, this is clear enough quality. I actually upped the bitrate by almost uh, a double in a bit, just so it's a bit clearer for you guys. Um, all the links that you need for the code. Um, my ask and everything else will be in the description. If you've come from another one of my videos on Magic Ask, Infinite Columns, uh, I can't think of what else I have. I think that's it. But if you come from any of my other videos, you'll probably be linked to here on how to update your stuff before you go installing my other code. Just follow this quickly and then all the other code should just go right underneath it, pretty much. Just so then that way it makes sure that this definitely runs and then your Magic Ask and stuff runs. Um, and that's about it. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.